Okay, folks, let's start here. Um, this picture appeared today in the Radio Times, and then you can see here it's a long-sleeved variant of uh, Jody's regular outfit and, you know, a few minor things here and there. But a real nice photo nonetheless. You know, you can see there's filming, you know, equipment, all that in the background. But the thing that's got everybody going crazy is this right here that the new series will start New Year's Day. Now, as you all know, I'm always highly skeptical of the mirror. Um, but I do agree with Dr. Production News. What gives this one a little more teeth is the fact that it's written by Nicola Methvin, who you know, tends to be more right than wrong. It says here, if you scroll down a bit, it's going to be, you know, 10 episodes as normal. It's going to start on New Year's Day. But here's the thing that's really kicking everybody crazy. According to this article, the second part of this, it's going to be a two-part opener, with the first part being on New Year's Day and the second part being on the 4th, which is Saturday, that Doctor Who's apparently transitioning back to its Saturday night tea time slot. This is a big risk. But at the same time, people tend to want it there, and I agree with you. I want it back on Saturday. Now, of course, you got the one source that they never name. It's going to be huge. The scale is just up to is epic, but no one will be disappointed. According to this also, uh, the special that was filmed with the Daleks will not air till next year. Likely either Christmas or you know New Year's Day 2021. They're not sure on that angle. But I just thought it was relevant that, yeah, they've brought this up, and it does go with what we got from the TV New Zealand article or sorry, TV New Zealand document that was apparently, you know, put out a couple weeks ago, or, you know, it was a little ways back, that said that, you know, they were getting the special on the second, which means the rest of us would get it on New Year's Day. So it kind of jives with that. But it kind of makes me wonder if the mirror isn't just capitalizing on the New Year's, you know, the New Zealand New Year's document. Don't know. So we'll have to sit back and watch. Like I said, I'm always highly skeptical of the mirror. It's not always reliable. They do get a nugget every now and then, but you know we gotta you know deal with what we gotta deal with, and it does jive with some of the things we've seen coming up. So if this is true, New Year's Day is going to be episode one. It's going to be a two-parter, which will conclude on Saturday the fourth. So I'm kind of glad they're going back to Saturdays. It makes my life a little easier, but. You know, here we go. Let, let, here's a quick other things we got. Uh, apparently, David Tennant has been crowned UK's hardest working actor. And from what I heard, Olivia Coleman has also received this honor. So it's kind of nice, you know, to see Tennant get a little bit more recognition. Like he doesn't get enough. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it is co star Olivia Coleman. But were named the most prolific male and female British acting talent in 2019. So cool beans there from the Edinburgh News. Also, Karen Gillan has said her best on-screen experience was filming Doctor Who. Sorry, my throat got a little dry there. So, And it goes a little bit into what she said right here. So, kind of nice, you know, that she enjoyed that time and still remembers it. But please keep in mind, I don't rely on the mirror, but at the same time, what it's saying does jibe with things we've already heard. We we'll just have to keep our eyes and ears open. You know, not too far away, folks. And everybody I know is still wondering what's going to happen on the 23rd. I have an eerie feeling that's going to be finally a trailer, which is, you know, at a good time, you know, just for the series going to air on New Year's Day. All right, I'm already babbling, so let me get on out of here, kids. I didn't mean this to be a long video. I just wanted to pop in and update you a little bit. So take care of yourselves out there. See you on the flip side. Freedom out, kids.